Hello there, I'm the Nightmare Duke and welcome to another Fallout 76 video where today we're going to be taking a look at the rewards that you can buy from Giuseppe with the stamps that you earn from the expeditions and seeing if the prices that are there are actually worth it or if you know you should just rather wait and let it drop as a rare reward uh, you know in one of the weeks where you do an expedition completion um, and you know rather spend your stamps on some of the other items so this is just to give you a brief overview and look at the different uh, items i will be splitting this into two videos this one will focus on the weapon skins and the outfits and the second one will focus on the camp related items so if you are interested in that then hey subscribe and stick around but let's just get straight into it and starting things off we have the union paint for the hunting rifle and it is a pretty cool paint for it so it does work with multiple of the different, you know, mods that you can uh, mod the hunting rifle with. Uh, it will just depend on what you go with or what, you know, you see. Sometimes it's just a paint job on like that one. Whereas with a different stock, uh, you do get the Union logo on it. Uh, for the magazine, you know, if you go for like a tiny magazine, you won't really see that uh, paint on the magazine at all. But if you go for a bigger magazine, then you will see it. So it is a pretty cool skin for the hunting rifle. I do prefer the pump action shotgun one though. Uh, but yeah, if you are a hunting rifle fan, let me know what you think of this one. Uh, and like I said, I do really like this one. So for the pump action shotgun here, we do have the Fnatic paint. And again, depending on which mod you go for, it will change slightly. So they have their logo basically on the stock there. But uh, if you do change that stock to something else, you do get some different options. Uh, no, not the sights. If we go for the stock and let's see. Yeah, stabilized. So the stabilized, as you can see, there's writing on it now instead. So it has the kill instead of their kind of uh, emblem, basically. But it's a really cool color scheme on it. I do like this paint quite a lot for the pump action shotgun here. Uh, but yeah, let me know which one you prefer. If you like the hunting rifle one or if you like the pump action one or if you like them both. Or if you'd like to see more for other weapons. Uh, but yeah, is a really cool skin here. But over to those outfits and we'll kick things off with the trench runners outfit. And over to the Trench Runner's coat. It is a really nice outfit. That isn't the Trench Runner's hood. That's a different uh, gas mask, so don't worry about that. But the outfit itself is really nice. Uh, of course, maybe your thing. It might not be your thing, but for me, I think it is a pretty cool looking outfit. Go for a bit of a 360 around there in case you're interested, because a lot of these are quite expensive in terms of the stamps. So, you know, if you want to save up and buy it, or if you'd rather wait for it to drop, as a rare reward from an expedition uh, then a choice is yours but that is the outfit and going over to the hood itself it is pretty basic with that hood and a cap underneath it and over to the tinkerer's outfit which is of course a mechanic styled outfit got the tool belt with the tools there and whatnot and yeah it is a cool outfit but i do prefer the trench runner's coat but i'm sure there's someone out there that'll prefer this one instead so let me know what you think of it in the comments below but also if we just take a quick 360 around it just so you can see the full outfit before moving on to the actual headpiece which is the goggles and here are the Tinkerer's goggles. They are positioned up all the time, and this is a way you can put them down. Uh, but yep, yeah, that is the Tinkerer's goggles. Uh, they do also work with stuff like uh, bandanas and other sort of smaller face masks, basically. But uh, if you chuck on, you know, something like a gas mask, then it will remove the goggles completely. But they do work with some of the other uh, individual face pieces. So there you have it. Like I said, we're splitting this into two videos. So that was the weapon skins and the outfits. And the next one will be, of course, the camp related items. But hopefully that gave you a better idea of what you'll be spending your stamps on. As always, massive thank you to the channel members for their support. And if you enjoyed, then hey, consider liking and subscribing and sticking around for more Fallout content. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.